Right, this is your crankshaft pulley bolt, which holds on your crankshaft damper. If these are left loose, you'll end up with problems, like stripped cam belts, which in turn can lead to knackered engines. He's not kidding either. The amount of damage that can be caused by just leaving the bolt loose, you have uh, damage to the crank um, and to the timing belt, which will wear on the, the casing. If you click on the send a picture, you'll, uh, you'll get yourself to a video which shows you a tool which is very handy for undoing the dog nut. Um, this is probably the biggest problem that you'll, you'll come across when trying to do the timing belt is the tightness of the uh, crankshaft uh, dog nut. Okay, well let's have a look at the damage that um, happens, alright? Timing belt. This one has been uh, contaminated and uh, damaged. You can see here that basically that there's no teeth really to grip onto any of the pulleys um, because it was clogged out with mud and you can see how contaminated this belt actually is. It would have slipped and then got stripped. Same applies for any oil contamination. You'll find that the belt will slip or it will rot and then snap and this is a choice you don't have any oil leaks that has to be repaired all right get this out of the way and have a look at some of the damage damage that usually occurs um, rockers okay in this case we have a snapped one it's a clean snap all right this is cast so it's um, taken the weakest point this um, followed along the line will be um, the push rods which are all bent up and these are fairly sacrificial at uh, low speed you'll actually get away with um, just uh, low speed damage which is bent push rods the higher the revolutions in the engine when the belt slips or breaks the more damage you're actually going to occur as you can see the rocker shaft damaged all of these bits need to be inspected now here's a beauty and uh, this is uh, part of the cam follower this is where the push rod sits on and that has had a fairly good whack you can see that um, push rod slid past it All right. so this engine is going at quite a speed this is where the uh, brass part actually fits in and this roller runs along the camshaft all right so it's been lifted and uh, this is the roller part of it all right this is robust this won't get damaged all right and the sleeve actually fits in the cylinder block it's inside here where the push rod sits on this is the vital part all right and to a point it's uh, actually sacrificial now this bolt here is an indication you see on the cylinder block where it's bolted into so you know where, where the position is of this uh, all eight of these to get at these you need to take the cylinder head off and slip these out and um, you can find these parts separately or get them all second hand in one go. Going a bit further on, um, we're having a look at the pistons here. You can see the uh, valve mark on top of the pistons okay, um, and corresponding valves that have been hitting the pistons. And this is inevitable simply because the uh, valves run so close to the pistons that you, you're only talking a matter of thousandths of an inch when the piston is at top dead center that you'll actually get some space that the valves are supposed to be shut okay